Senior Living on Location is produced by Senior Living Media, celebrating seniors in our community. They stare in awe, young, old, and in between. There seems to be a fascination among the male species when it comes to trains. Yes, there might be a gal or two who enjoys the tracks, but it's predominantly a male-dominated hobby. We did ask why. There are a few. Um, mostly, I think it's, it's just an ego thing. <laughs> What's it all about? Well, technically, this is a hobby in which rail transport systems are modeled at a reduced scale. The scale models include everything from locomotives, streetcars, and tracks, to roads, buildings, vehicles, and model figures, too. And it doesn't stop there. The backdrops are just as important and feature elements such as hills, canyons, forests, and the list goes on. These hobbyists, called railway modelers or model railroaders, spend hours, days, years, sometimes large sums of cash creating their masterpieces. I think it comes in your blood. My grandfather was an engine driver and uh, there's a lot of fun and sound, smoke, and the size is what's attractive. Kids can enjoy them, they're safe. Older people can, they're good on the eyesight, and the knees aren't too bad. And if you have to pick things up or work, so it's a good gauge, it's pretty big. People sort of developed the hobby over 10, 15, 20 years. Um, the other nice thing with these are, is that second-hand market, you basically get back most of the money you've invested. It's better than fishing. The earliest model railways were the carpet railways in the 1840s. They were powered by steam and were nicknamed Birmingham dribblers because they often left a trail of water behind them. But to the collector, dribble or not, the carpet railways are highly sought after, and some of them sell for up to $1,000. When Senior Living on Location toured the Vancouver Island Garden Railway Club in Victoria, it was people of all ages that seemed to enjoy the model railways. Getting involved in model railway building is not only a fantastic personal hobby for active seniors, but it also provides a social networking opportunity for people as well. The Vancouver Island Garden Railway Club meets mostly in the spring, summer and fall, and members can volunteer to host open houses. The club also holds workshops on building rolling stock and other related garden railway subjects. The club is open to anyone who has an interest in railroading. Most of the model routers tend to be older individuals because they grew up with railroads, um, but I grew up watching model railroads, so you know, I just continued into the hobby. I got into model railroads when I was about seven or eight, and uh, this particular layout is now five years old. This is actually its anniversary. Um, it was it was brought to uh, it was brought to the show. It was just plywood and pink foam the first year, and then the last three years it's been pretty much what you see. Just every year we add a little bit here and there. Senior Living asked what the fascination was with model railroads. I've always been involved with it. My father was involved with it. Um, I had a layout in my room when I was growing up. And uh, after, when I had kids, I got back into it. None of them bothered, but I was so fascinated, I keep up with it. You know, it's a matter of the electronics. We're running something. There's the artistic end of it, of making a scene that actually looks like the real thing and uh, you know just the, all the things that are involved in that and then the, it's a good way to spend time and uh, enjoy yourself and if it doesn't work out you tear it out and start over again. There are huge books that have been written on this. Um, you've got everything from rock stars uh, that do this uh, like Rod Stewart uh, yeah um, all the way to you've had jet fighter pilots the whole bit and um, when they get interviewed as to why they like it, because you get to have complete control over your environment. This is, this is me. This is, I decide if I don't like something, I just move it, take it away, do whatever I want to do. Okay, we get it. Total control, world domination, at least on a smaller scale. And speaking of small, those who enjoy or would like to start this hobby but haven't the room, teeny tiny sets are also available. This is the smallest available commercial model railway and uh, it's 1 to 450 re real size. The uh, only manufacturer is a company called Ishido of Japan and uh, they have a North American distributor who uh, I ordered through over the internet. I saw it, I model in much bigger scales normally and uh, said wow this would be fantastic to do in a little layout. 
So for somebody who was restricted, didn't have a lot of room, this would be great. This little railway is about $160, but the boys also like them big. So big that their hobby runs into the thousands of dollars. Some railroaders are so devoted to their hobby that bringing something different to the table is what makes their pursuit even more enjoyable. They're live steam, like all the rest of the stuff around here is electric, and these are like real engines. They just happen to be small, so there's hot water boiling in it, and steam oil, and away you go. When I was a little tyke, I lived in England before the war, and uh, the railway went right behind our house. Steam trains, you know. So I got it from my dad, and that's, I've been a modeler ever since. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of model railway clubs in existence, with people sharing their passion for building model train sets. Clubs like the one we visited showed off their talents at the Victoria Model Railway Show. This gives them the chance to meet, show off their goods, as well as trade and sell products and share ideas. Almost all of the trains have a historical reference, as do their backdrops. So for children, this is a great way to teach them a bit of history while being entertained at the same time. It's interesting to note that some clubs are involved in model railroading for the preservation of Canadian history, while others for the craftsmanship and sheer enjoyment. Model railroading is a great family-oriented hobby. It's an opportunity for one generation to pass on skills and information. For seniors and families, it's an excellent way to stay active and engaged in learning and developing knowledge and skills related to history, carpentry, electrical skills, economics, artistry, research, engineering, and geography. Let's run them. As one passionate railroader put it, all you need is a big basement and an understanding spouse. <laughs> <laughs>